podcast. Today's episode, we are going all in on speed is king. Speed is the absolute king in everything, not just business, but speed is what people want. And a common thing that people say in construction is, well, I don't want to get back to a client too quick because I don't want to look too keen. What a load of complete horse shit. That is not the attitude to have. It's not a good thing to have a mindset on. Very typical in the UK. Don't want to look too keen and they don't want to get back to an inquiry too soon to look like they're too available or some other bullshit that you've got in your mind. So if this is you or you put things off and you overthink about things, this is the episode to listen to. So why the fuck do you think that Amazon is so successful? One of the biggest companies in the world now, Jeff Bezos, one of the richest men, richest businessmen in the world, it's because of speed. They've built their whole business around speed. You can click, you can get it delivered, same day a lot of the cases, but worst case, like tomorrow. You get stuff quicker than it would take for you to actually go out and get it. Speed is just the success fucking hack, if you like. Everyone loves speed. Business loves speed, money loves speed. Getting shit done loves speed. So if you just operate from a place of speed, you're gonna be working to a much better business. And think about it, Netflix is the same. It's speed, click of a button, you're watching the film. Years ago, you'd have to go to the cinema, wait for the film to come out, hire the film, you know, get in the car, go and pick it up, pick up the DVD for the, you know, the older ones amongst us. Speed, queue jumps. People pay to, to jump the queue at the theme park, the airport, because of speed. Hospitality at an event, people want the speed, they want the less ag, they want someone bringing the drink to them rather than you having to queue up because they can't be asked spending the time to do that. They want fucking speed. We all love speed. So whatever you're into, whatever you buy, I guarantee that you always want the quick, the fucking now option. You want it now. Everyone wants everything now in this world, in this mentality. So if you adopt a speed mentality to your business, you will win more work, guaranteed, because the, you know the quicker the inquiry comes in, you, you get the quote in, you get the price in, you go around and you look at it, you're in, you're ahead, because then likely people don't really get someone else around their house to look at something or another job because they've got someone who's just fucking on it from the minute go. You win more work, you'll get more done, but if you don't, you are literally the person in your business putting the brakes on. If you're the owner of the business, you are putting the brakes on if you're not following a like now get it done speed mentality. And you are the bottleneck. So you are the fucking problem. And look, that's the tough at the top. You know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. If you're you own the business, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to blame. If you're the one that's not operating at a you know speed, the, all the reasons for, for not getting where you want to be or, or any problems you've got in the business is all on you, it's all on your shoulders. So when it comes to inquiries. Someone, a customer, they send you an email and they go, I'd, I'd like this job done. Would you, would you come have a look at it? Is speed going to help you on that? Yes, it is. One million percent. If you get back to that inquiry straight away and it's, it's, it's mind boggling that some people take two or three days, even a week or fucking two to get back to a client and say, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Because you're just not geared and you're not framed in the, in the, the mindset of being a business owner and a salesperson and actually helping your customer. And the same goes for like commercial work. People in commercial work, you get an email in from a tender or someone asks you to do something. You've got to confirm that you're going to tender for the works and people don't respond to it straight away. Now, the only nuance of that is sometimes you need to think about logistics, commercially and all sorts of different things. But you should get back to people straight away. If you know you're going to price it, you should let them know. You should start the conversation with those people. You start developing that relationship. But equally, if you know you're not going to tender for it, you're never going to tender for it, but you're just putting off saying no you should just say no straight away and remove it so it's off your off your desk and you don't forget to say no. Because when if you do that, if you forget to say no to a client, you look even worse because you never even got back to them. And how often does this come up in the industry? Fucking hell, it's everywhere. A lot of the times clients will say, fucking hell, I've phoned around three or four builders or, or three or four plumbers or three or four electricians. No one's come back to me. So that they just think you're all a dick which is not what you want from a marketing point of view and a, a building a company and building a brand point of view. Even if you say no, that is better than not saying anything. Like communication is key and speed of just doing that is gonna be your friend. So mindset shift. You're in business for your customers. You're in business for your customers. If you operate and think like that first 
and think, well, how would you actually want to be responded to or treated and how quick would you want to respond if you, if the shoe was on the other foot? If you're the client and you're spending, doesn't matter if it's five grand, 50 grand, 500 grand, 5 million quid, what sort of response and speed would you expect back from that company? Always look at it from that point of view. Step out of the situation, whatever situation you're in, whatever comes up in a business, step out of the situation from your shoes and your viewpoint as the owner. View it from the customer's perspective all the time. If you look at it more from the customer's point and you look after those customers, they will look after you and the business will be cool. You've got to always step out of it and go, right, okay, if I was a customer, how would I want to be responded to to this problem? Would I want a response to this email as quick as possible so I know where I stand or whatever it is and just and just take that out and have that mindset shift that you're in business for your customers, not for you. Now, customers will look after you. If you look after them, if you're, if you're good, you know, and you're actually doing a good service, you're very loyal, you're good, you know yourself, when you've had good service somewhere, you walk away more buzzed, you know, and it's a bit like going to a restaurant. If you go to one of the best restaurants there are, let's say it's in the city, it's one of the best restaurants you can go to, but you have to queue outside, you then have to wait inside as well, wait at the bar, and then you wait in 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Then eventually you get sat down, the service isn't great, no one really tells you what's going on. You sit down, the actual meal's good, but you've got the ump because you waited at the front end. And the food was sort of relevant at that point because you've just got the arsehole. And then you don't leave a tip, so the waiter doesn't get a tip, he doesn't earn his extra money that he can earn. And it's no good for no one. And although you actually had a good meal, which is what happens a lot of the times in business, as well, actually you do a good job, but the front end let you down. And if you just reframe that and reverse that, if you walk into a restaurant, they, they welcome you and take your jacket, sit down at the bar, be two minutes to your table when everything's on point you know you, you know when you go for a good meal and everything just happens it's just on point bang 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 weight is not on your case but he's not taking too long food comes out bang 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 then you leave a good tip and it's just this whole different mindset of just speed and fluidness and just absolutely everything running like a tight oil drum and if you start imagining it from the customer's point of view like i say but it's taking you three weeks to get the quote back it's taking you two days to get a response back out of you it's taking you a week to solve a problem and you're not communicating it they're just going to get the ump and it's all little things registering it little tokens in their head of going yeah weren't that great to be honest and this happens a lot as well where they look back and they go yeah the jobs are right but they weren't that good and that's why they're not speaking about you that's why they're not referring you that's not that's why they're not singing your praises although you did a good job you know the, the physical job finished you know on site or whatever it is that you've done is actually good but the whole customer experience wasn't good and speed is going to be the root cause of that. You're just not on the ball quick enough, you're not reacting quick enough and you're not communicating quick enough. And look, if you're solving problems on site, you, you've just got to take the, the, the action and, and pull the trigger to solve those problems because really what I found is that overthinking things doesn't, doesn't actually give you any more information. Thinking about things and putting things off and going, yeah, we'll look at that tomorrow, we'll look at that. Thursday, we'll look at that Tuesday. You don't really ever gain any more information unless it's something that you need to phone someone who knows what they're talking about. Unless you need to phone an expert, unless you need to phone a solicitor, unless you need to phone your accountant, unless you need to phone one of your partners or unless you need to phone someone in the business to get the, the next bit of advice. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you've got all the information in front of you, you've got the facts in front of you staring at you and you're just not making a decision because you're like, oh, I don't know what way this is going to go. You've got to just make the fucking decision and go with the speed. Like everything is going to rely on speed because the quicker you make a decision, it's done, it's out of your head as well and you can move on. And the thing I always like to adopt is, right, if I know I've got to make decisions on certain things, I always like to eat a frog for breakfast. I think this is a great saying and a great way of working, but eat the frog for breakfast. So the, the thing that's the biggest pain in your fucking backside right now Make that decision the first one and re remove the worst problem that you've got, the worst decision that you need to make earlier on in the day as possible. And then everything else is just fucking easy. Whereas a lot of people, what they do is they, they know they've got this big problem brewing or this conversation they need to have with someone or this, this email they need to send to a client or they need to get a response back to someone, whatever it is. And they put it off and they put it off and put it off. And the amount of times that happens and it ends up being, you didn't actually get around to it today because you said you were going to, it then gets put to tomorrow's list, the next day's list, and then before you know it, it's fucking gone and it's fucked. Eat a frog for breakfast. It is the easiest, quickest way of just handling shit and just tackling shit and just adopting right speed. Just get it done. Like, it's not going anywhere. And the way I look at problems are, look, it's a bit like a cancer. You'd rather cut the fucking thing out. You don't want it there growing. 
You'd rather cut the fucking thing out. And sometimes just visualizing it like that and, and listening to me saying like that and going, if you had a fucking lump in you and you knew it was cancerous, get the fucking thing out. Get it out fucking right now and adopt that mentality with speed just for everything. Absolutely everything. If a customer sends you an inquiry, you know you don't want to do it, just say no. Politely say no straight away. If you know you're going to price for it, get back to them straight away and say next steps will come and visit on this date, this date, this date, and then it will take two weeks for the price, one week for the price, whatever it is because of the tendering period, the pricing period. Communication just loves speed. People want to be informed all the time. They want to know what's going on all the time. And they want a result, they want an answer. Now, you do too. Now, you are the problem. If someone tells you what to do and you've reached a point where you've you've asked for advice, you've got the help that you need or you need that you needed to bounce an idea off someone and then you don't do it and you don't pull the trigger and take the action. I get a lot of this. I get a lot of this. I get a lot of messages from people on Instagram or people asking for help and I tell them black and white, do this. And then they don't do it or they don't want to listen because it's not the answer they were looking for. It's not the answer that was the easy answer. It's not the answer that was the yeah, just fuck it off, mate. It was the answer that this is what you need to fucking do and it's going to be a bit uncomfortable and people don't like it. And if you do that, you're the fucking problem. You are the problem. You are the bottleneck. You are the one creating all of the issues. If you've got the information, you've asked the person and they've given you the right advice, you've got to fucking move with it and go with it. And this is one thing that I have found with the most successful people I know and the way that I've operated to get me to the levels of success that I have and the people that I've now worked with and, and said and helped them grow their business and mentor them, if you like, and show them what to do and how to do it. The best people are the ones that just fucking get on with it. They just fucking do what you say. Like they just move. Like they just go. They don't overthink it. They just move first and then go with it as it fucking rolls. Stopping and thinking. The moment I see someone go, oh yeah, I'll, 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 I'll think about that. You're fucked. I know you're never going to do it. You've fucking full of shit. The people that just go, okay, cool, done. And just do it there and then and, and it's done or it's operating on the way home. And I, I do this all the time. Like if I've, if I've had a conversation with someone and I get back in the car, I make the call then straight away. I, go, I need to speak to that person, bang. I need to, to say this to this person, bang. Get it off your desk, get it off your plate as soon as possible. Because what I've also found is that going slow gives you the room for more doubt. The longer you take to do something, the more doubt you can fill your mind with stuff. You know, if you go into a, a, a paralysis stage and you're like, they call it analysis paralysis, instead of just doing, it, doubt just gets worse and worse and worse. It doesn't get better. It doesn't get easier. If, you, if you've got a concern about something and a decision you need to make and you don't just make that decision, it only ever gets worse from that point. It doesn't get better. And again, it's a bit like the cancer thing. It's only going to grow. It's not going to go away on its own. So slow makes room for overthinking, which you don't want. It's a waste of time. And slow makes room for indecision. And indecision is a decision not to do anything about it. So it's just being very aware that when you're not deciding to do something, you've actually made the decision. You've made the decision for something to go wrong. You've made the decision to not get the result you want. And you've made the decision to basically fail at whatever it is you're trying to do in the business or whatever the problem is you've got on site or whatever tricky customer you've got indecision is a decision so never ever forget that and I think that's a really key learning point that indecision is a decision you've made a decision to let it be fucked you've then consciously made that decision by not deciding so if you are indecisive you are choosing basically not to win you are choosing to fail, which is just the worst fucking thing in the world. So just remember that the next time that you're not just using speed to your advantage, you know. And if you think about it logically, everyone's always chasing speed. You know, it's always the quickest flight. It's the quickest journey. It's the quickest done, the quickest route. Everyone wants that. And you've just got to work like that yourself in your business all the time. Because speed is your friend. Speed is one of the best tools you can use. And I'll tell you what, to wrap this podcast up, speed is the biggest gap from the youth and the younger people that I see coming in. They're all fucking lazy. They're all, don't want to make the call. They're all, do it tomorrow, do it later. Speed is going to be a rare thing. 
it's going to get rarer and rarer that people actually adopt and use speed to their advantage. So if you're just a person listening to this and you go, do you know what? Dino's fucking right. If I just adopt speed and just fucking go with it, you're going to be ahead of 99% of people. And obviously, look, the main reason you guys listen to this podcast is one, you're in construction, two, you want to make more money, three, you want a better business, four, you want a bit more out of your life and your business, and it's all this one big fucking circle. Speed is a fucking massive part of that. The person that can just jump on the phone straight away and make the call, make the decision, make the move, is always going to beat the person that just doesn't make decisions and actually just use speed to your advantage. So speed is your friend. Use it to your advantage. That is it. Nice, quick, short, sharp episode for this one. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.